My name is Chris Vandevoort. I work as an environmental engineer and I'm 32 years old. I've been at Explore CrossFit for a little over two years. My experience here has been amazing. I've met a lot of really good friends here and I really enjoy the encouragement I get coming in to work out every day. I mean, it isn't just about working out with your friends. It's about getting stronger and becoming more badass. That's definitely a huge part of it. <laughs> My experience here has been incredible. Uh, I've gotten a lot stronger since I've started. I couldn't do a pull-up when I came in. I still can't really do one, but I'm really close. I'm really, really close. I can do kipping pull-ups. Uh, I finally finished Fran in under 10 minutes, which there's just a bunch of different stuff that we do here that I never would have tried uh, outside of this environment. Just uh, the expertise that's here uh, provides me with a lot of comfort knowing that I can do what, um, what I wouldn't have thought was possible before. I had a setback last year when I ruptured my Achilles. I really enjoyed training here through my Achilles rupture. I think that if I hadn't had this community that I wouldn't have been able to stay as strong as I did while I was hurt. Um, people here were happy to see me every day, super excited that I was coming in. Uh, you know, the trainers went above and beyond in terms of helping me get my rehab. Uh, I think I was here almost every day while I was hurt, so it was no issue. Like, I feel like this place is incredible for helping people train through injuries. So at first I was kind of offended when I heard that I was team mom, because I feel like that somehow connotates like, I don't want to say being late, I realized like just how much I enjoyed uh, being there for people and didn't want to miss like anything that people were doing. I mean just the huge things that people have accomplished, uh, it's, it's so inspiring. I think I would like to compete someday, but I, I'm super scared of it. Uh, I get nervous that I'm going to screw up and like let the team down. My biggest accomplishment in the gym today has probably just been finishing Fran under 10 minutes. It was a long time goal of mine and I finally did it uh, probably like a month and a half ago and I was excited. And everybody was so excited for me, so that was really cool. If someone told me that they were scared to try CrossFit, I would tell them not to be scared. That it's a ton of fun, uh, the community will support you. I see people all the time that were as probably as bad off as I was or even worse when I first came in and it makes me happy to know how far that I've come and you'll realize so fast how you move out of that feeling weak into feeling like a stronger person and there's no reason to be ashamed about any level of fitness that you um, are at when you come in here. I feel weird being nominated for member of the year. Uh, I guess I think of it as like a physical like a physical fitness sort of a thing like people who can do really incredible things in the gym and or people who have made like huge transformations over the last year, and I don't, I don't know that I'm one of those people. Uh, so it's kind of surprising at the same time, though. I mean, I really love this community, and I feel like I get a lot of love back. So I think that would be the reason for it. But it's, it's strange to me. In an alternate universe, I would pick GT to be my father. I feel like he would be the biggest cheerleader for me, and like I would feel like I could do incredible things if he was my dad. I pulled a chair out from underneath this girl, and she broke her tailbone, and she had to explore like CrossFit is a social club. <laughs> <laughs> so cliche. Somebody's shooting at me. I think I'm pretty awesome, right? I feel like if you had any superpower that was detected, that the army would capture you and put you in a laboratory. I don't like to choose sides. Being from Iowa, people think less of me. I'm gonna be right now. It's a question if I'd rather have him be my father or be my lover. I don't know why, but Kenny is the first person to come to mind. Maybe because he's so big, but I feel like he's not too lean, so like, he's a good mix. <laughs> but then I think he's kind of cool, so that would make me sad to eat him. And I don't know how to kill him. Like, I feel like that I wouldn't win that battle. I have to like suffocate him in his sleep or something. If I was to be trapped on a desert island with somebody from the gym for the next 15 years, it would be a man, and that's as important as going with that question. No, I won't, I won't do this. I won't play this game. Oh, Stone's a good one, too. Okay. It's not like I get to pick five taken with me and just have a man stable while I'm on this island for like 50. I mean, that sounds awesome. I'd either go with Blaze or Fred Bentley. I know, random, random choices. I feel like Blaze is ridiculous, very smart and clever, and he knows a lot about things that I don't know about. So that's maybe I would pick Blaze. And then Fred, I feel like he's so solid and like steadfast. He's a really good person. I feel like he would make level-headed decisions. He has a lot of life experience that I don't have, like the five babies and such. No, what are we talking about? 